Let's try and not suck. Yay! Hello everyone, and welcome to Charlotte and Zeke play Exit the Gungeon again. The sequel. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've played a little bit off camera, so I'll fill you in on what's happened around, uh, around the breach. Yeah, around the home base. Okay. You've got a lot more things. Yeah, these guys have started setting up shop here. The um, alcoholic lizard guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, here he is. He's opened up his own bar. And you just broke all his bottles. Yeah. Managed to rescue the doctors, Patches and Mendy. Once I went to them because I had a, because I had scale rot and they told me I had a dirty mirror. Can't deny the results. <laughs> Poor fairies. Dear. Serving people is my true calling. Okay, <laughs> he didn't want anything to do with us. Um, he has stolen all of his bar stools for his new bar from the shopkeeper in the main gungeon and the gu the shopkeeper's told me to bring anything heavy to him that no one will want to steal and I don't know what that is yet right. but that's what's been happening and these guys have been rescued so we can start acquiring weapons Ooh. but also didn't you say that you had to rescue them by buying things from uh, the rat Yes, if you're familiar with the last game, um, <clears throat> the resourceful rat is in this game still. Uh, yeah, nothing new here. Hey, the elevator's busted. Oh. And you get a second, could you bring up a few hundred casings to help fix it? A couple of dozen blanks. Just kidding. Good times, though. <laughs> Were they? Apparently, yes. He said some interesting things. Yeah. He said that... Um, He's not sure what to do with himself because we're here. We were in the gungeon to kill our pasts. Yeah. But he says the gungeon is his past. Oh. Maybe you get to play as him. There's definitely some unlockable characters. Like we don't even have all the original boys yet. No. You've got all the base ones. Also, you see that thing chasing you, the blessing. Yeah. I'm ninety percent sure we can avoid that. <laughs> oh god, I'm jumping instead of uh dodge rolling. Yeah. Again, that is something Oop, directional pad. <laughs> nice. Bit, um, bit DDR. With the directional pad on the old game at least. Mm -hmm. We're playing as the hunter though. <laughs> <laughs> on the old game, you could input cheat codes to give yourself flights and stuff temporarily. Oh wow. I never knew what they were though. <laughs> Get out of here. But yeah, I've been practicing, mostly to try and get better at um, not messing up my button presses. No, that's fair. You said you were getting mixed up with the buttons because they're different. Yeah, I my the button I want to dodge roll with is jump, and the button I want to jump with is dodge roll. And the game won't let you change them. No, I think that must be coming in a patch, right? I hope so. It seems like a pretty simple patch. Especially since you can already change what button you shoot with. Yeah, right. But I still haven't beaten the game or anything. You know, I, I don't I don't really know what beating the game entails. But I haven't gotten to like I haven't managed to oh shit. I haven't managed to leave the gungeon. Yeah, I was gonna say that'd be beating the game. Exit in the gungeon. Yeah. I've seen some weird flaws coming up, though. Hopefully we can show them off. Good, good. They really hurt my head, some of the levels. Not so good. No. <laughs> they they are puzzling. Ooh. That reminds me of a puzzle. Professor Layton, surprisingly good. Hmm. Why is everyone then a ghost sniper? You don't remember them? No. They were in the first game. No, I don't remember them. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. You can roll into those guys to kill them, but I accidentally jumped into them and it sort of messed me <laughs> up. I'm trying to Mario this. Saint Mario. Ooh, that's a big chest. Give us the goods. Eye patch. Hit harder, less often. Sounds the same as it was in the first game. So, 
accuracy decrease, damage increase. Nice. With the amount of big bullets and homing weapons and stuff, that's fine. <laughs> The elevator you were in before wasn't a little light brew, was it? No, they... Oh, this is a charged weapon. No, they do seem to be different. That's cool. Uh. Oh, char I, I'm yeah. not very good with charged weapons. I was going to say the charged weapons kind of messing you up. Oh, he didn't do contact damage. Oh, that's neat. Crestfaller. The Crestfaller gives things hats, and I don't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> like, I've noticed it now, and I just don't get it. Me either. Hmm. Is there a, uh, a, a gun book? Yeah. The Diginomicon. Uh, let's look at our gun. Uh, is that what we have? No. Big iron, blunderbuss, charge shot, coal, mm. dark burn, helix, club. Mmm. Mmm. Probably you can just have it. There it is. This unique, this unique weapon was brought to the dungeon by a disgraced warrior who discarded it when he gave up. The projectiles it fires are extremely low energy, delivering a cold and highly depressing death. That says nothing about hats. Why does it give things hats, though? If anything, it's supposed to be freezing them, but it's giving them a hat. Maybe it's just because hats are cool. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I think this is boss time. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's this dude. <laughs> Look at him. He's getting his revenge oh. for, for all the times you shot him. Well, what I seem to have noticed in this mm -hmm. is that because it... Ah. Oh, no. First run of the day. I'm out of practice. It's fine. First run's the best. Shh. <laughs> This ain't Spelunky. Uh, yeah, just quick restart. This will quick restart. Let's just do another. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and avoid that. <laughs> oh, it oh you me. jumped into it. I reckon it can vanish at some point for a challenge run. Mm -hmm. I reckon you can have starting pistol only runs. But yeah, what have you noticed? I've noticed that... um. None of the old um, bosses. Ooh, a Guan stone. None of the old bosses show up. That I've noticed. Oh. So I think you know the the law is that this you know this is obviously after you've after you've after killed you've, the past. Yeah, you've killed the past. You've destroyed the dungeon by accident. But it also seems like all the other enemies are out of action as well because like. I, I haven't seen the Gadling girl, I haven't seen, um... Well, I guess you did have to kill them to kill your past, so... No, that gun gave it a hat. The Snowballer gives them hats as well. There must be something else giving them hats. What else could it be? The only thing that's changing is the gun. I don't know. This is a good gun for this game, because um, it's got bouncy bullets. Oh. I never appreciated it very much in regular dungeon, but in this game, ooh. <laughs> so good. I don't like the look of that TNT. No, I don't like the look of your face. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, it does. You know, I thought you were above judging people based on their looks, but I guess you're a bitch. <laughs> with an ugly face. <laughs> you went there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give them hats. What you got for me? Oop. Wait, it's not a St. Patrick's Day thing, is it? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I wish I could unbind the blanks from there. <laughs> <laughs> The 
Do you really think it could be a St. Patrick's thing? Maybe. It looks like it's got a little green clover on it. Maybe it's just a snowman hat. Because it does seem to be on all the cold weapons. Mm. I like this bubble gun. It used to be a bit different. Oh, big iron. It used to fire more bubbles and then you reload to burp it away, but you don't have a designated reload button in this. Ah, oh, so you just keep going. Yeah, it does smaller amounts quicker. There's a lot of guns that change to be like that. Like, um, there's this gun that I get sometimes called the makeshift cannon. Mm -hmm. In the original game, it's this big, big, like, bamboo cannon that one shots bosses, basically. <laughs> but it only has one shot in it. Oh. In this, it's much weaker. Oh, you bugger. It's much weaker, but it does, um,. It does fire multiple shots. Uh -huh. So we had to balance change some things for yeah, the but... new meta. Yeah, well, it's good. It'd be silly if they just went into it for the same stuff. Oh, yeah. But it's interesting to find the changes because I'm so accustomed to classic oh. Gungeon. Oh, it's a boss turn. The buffer move. Music. Revenge. I've gotten okay at this guy. His milk bottles aren't that bad, now that I know what they do. Okay. It's still kind of gross. Oh god, that bad. Whoops. Not that bad, I say, as I get hit. That's no, fine. Stay chill. I've perfected a few bosses now. And you do get, um... Ooh. Oh, oh god, he's, he's going yeah, crazy. He's, ta he's taking some damage. I forgot that he did it rapidly. Pew, 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 pew. I feel like the game is way more about the jump than the dodge roll now. I I think oh I think that's probably true too. Ooh, magic sweet, thank you, dog. Mm. Give me that gungeon pepper. Delicious. Yeah, the magic sweet was an old item that used to um it gave you health and uh damage up. I wonder if that's permanent or temporary because the dog just went and grabbed it. Yeah. By the snacks and sundries. Yes, so his cat's still there. Oh yeah, he said that him and his cat are going to exit when the gungeon's gone. <laughs> his cat's called Ocelot. Yay. But yeah, he used to have stools here. He said they've all been stolen and he wants me to bring him something <laughs> heavy that no one will want to steal. I don't know for certain. I got a sneaking suspicion it might be the robot TV head from the first game because who the fuck wants to steal that? <laughs> Nobody. Ooh. Ah, these are really good. And you've got enough money for the green one. Yeah, but I need 50 coins to buy the key from the rat. Oh, and are you definitely doing that? I think I should, right? It's an investment in all future runs to try and unlock characters. Fair enough, go for it. I'll buy the key. <laughs> A lot of losers get locked up in the gungeon. Do they? Why do you live here? Cheese off sake. I'm, I've used the blank button again. <laughs> I just I want to disable that so I can just use my clickies. Oh. Like I'm used to. Too bad. Oh, I got blanks back, though. I thought that the blanks carried over between floors on this one. Oh, I guess they don't. Guess not. This one's scary looking. You're not in the centre. Yeah. You guys having a party down there? Yeah, there's lots of people in the walls. It makes me think there's probably some secrets I don't know about. Ooh. Maybe shoot some skulls when you get the chance. Well, I don't really get the chance, though. <laughs> oh, going back down. Going back up. Oh, the scrambler's a good gun. It shoots an egg and then it shoots hoping bullets. Oh. Shit! It's the super space turtle. Yay! Oh, I guess he's not a gun, then. Or an item. Yeah. Instead, he's just lack of two. I'm happy with him being a lack of two, to be honest. Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes! Oh. It's Daisuke. 
Who? Daisuke. I don't remember Daisuke. You're a natural. Oh, it's you. Now we're rolling. In the top corner. Yeah, I'm Daisuke. I can tell we're going to make a good combo. Come talk to me. Because he's a dice. Oh, ha, ha, ha. In the gungeon. I'll hook you up with something to combo your gear. I'm starting to see imaginary numbers in there. What, what's on that box up there? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Later, Dicey K. Roll to my box sometimes. <laughs> you don't want to roll anywhere near your box. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting my gungeon feet back under me. Good, good. Mostly it's the controls that have been messing me up. Because, like, it controls like gungeon. Everything controls like I expect. I'm just not used to the button. Yeah. Oh. oh. I mean, that would have been in time to use a blank. I didn't. Ooh. I've noticed some bugs like that guy flying. Oh, yeah. Seems to be when you apply, like, anything that gives them, like, any force. Oh, like, not back. Yeah. You're cheating, my dude. <laughs> yeah, if you give them knockback on these moving levels, especially, they seem to mess up. Mmm. Which, again, game's just come out. Small development company, spin-off game. I expect patches in the future. Yeah, same. I think nobody's like, I can't believe the final product is bad. It's like, there's gonna be problems that you only get when millions of people playtest your product. Yeah, playtesting's hard, man. Oh, I remember those things. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. They suck. They do. What are they, the lead maidens? Mm. Oh, you poisoned it. Yeah, with my membrane. Gross. Please die. They did it. Oh, I found out what Jetpack Dog actually does. Go on, then. Whoa. Boss? It sounds like boss music. Oh, my God, it's, um... I Bullrog. Ah. The Holstered. <laughs> oh, don't give me the wind-up gun now. Oh, <laughs> I've not <laughs> fought this. <laughs> but he seems to be a mashup of the Beholstered and... Uh... Cannon Bullrog. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty sweet, though. Thank you. You got this, fam. Ah, oh, that was less sweet. That was less sweet. You still got blanks. I know. I think I should be using them a little now. Whoa, he landed right on me. Oh! oh. But we saw a new boss. Yeah. And we unlocked dice. Yeah, we unlocked dice, okay. Did he say he was at the breach or in the gungeon? I don't know. Let's have a look in the breach and then maybe do another run. Yeah, he just said, like, to roll to him. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't remember if he said where he was. I think he might just be in the gungeon somewhere. I hope a rock fell on you, B. And he's mad. Leave me to my elevators, please. Ah, right. uh, yeah, no sign of Dicey K. Is he down having a beer? Could be. Nothing down mm -hmm. there. No, he still doesn't want to talk. <laughs> you can change the music here. Oh, cool. That's sweet. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's stay as dog person. Okay. It's probably nothing we can really buy. Let's just go back in. A dog person. They don't have a name. They're just the person with a dog. Yeah. The dog has a name. Yeah. What's the dog's name? Junior too. Oh yeah. Because you can get Junior. Which is your dog from the past. Yeah. Dungeon's such a strange game. Law wise. <laughs> well, it involves time travel, so it's gonna get messy. Yeah. Get smooshed. Smooshed. Breaker. Yeah, shoot them coops. The brick breaker, just because it bounces around, is so useful <laughs> here. But I don't think it's very strong. 
need some bullet augments or something. <laughs> oh, the lowercase R. So, what sort of characters are you hoping to unlock then? Do you know what? I actually don't know. I imagine I'm going to get characters like Robot again. Mm. Um, I'd Wait. like to unlock a co-op character. Be nice. Oh, oh. damn, it's Winchester. Hello, buddy. What are you up to? It's me, your old gambling buddy, Winchester. I've developed a new wholly original game of skill for you to master. Thank you. I call it Winchester's Original Game. <laughs> Do, Do not, not steal. steal. I'd patent it, but you can't patent game mechanics, apparently. Do well, and you can win chests. Anyway, do you want to give it a shot? The first play is completely free. Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, tell me how to play. Here's a play of Winchester's original game. Break as many Winchester targets as you can. <laughs> You'll be firing a cannon. Ooh. The more you break, the better the prize. And that's it. Let's get angry. <sighs> oh. Whoa. They're so happy to be murdering those potatoes. Oh, my God. Ooh. It's Angry Birds. <laughs> no, this is Winchester's original game. Yeah, but it's Angry Birds, though. <laughs> right. <Rad. laughs> Thought it said bad. It's like, get him. <laughs> okay, let's try a little lower. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's try... Should I try going over that, do you think, again? Yeah, try going over it. I'll do a high up one, like this. Whee! Yeah! Yeah! We did it. We did it. Come on, tumble. I guess you've got to try and get that, like, centre one. Uh, oh! Yeah! I don't know what you exploded, but it worked. Colour me surprised. <laughs> you did great. Oh, I've not had an evil chest yet. Take it. I may take pleasure in taking your money, but I'm rooting for you, really. Oh. So that you can give me more money. Get out of my way. Sounds like you're rooting for me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Gondromeda strain. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Later, Winnie. Well, that's cool. Yeah, just all enemies of less HP. Effectively a damage upgrade. So if you're familiar with Nuclear Throne, you'll recognize scarier face. The crystal. <laughs> I love the Helix. <laughs> Such a good gun. Oh, I love this one too. But yeah, th this is going to be a game that gets better the more you play, the more guns you get. Because there'll be so much randomness going on. Oh yeah, I'll be getting different guns all the time. Part of me wonders if, like, the speedrun strat is to just buy passives or something. Oh. So you have a consistent gun pool, but maybe the starting guns aren't that, that good. Well, it's, it's a good thought. Get anvil. He is! It's just you're doing it badly. I'm doing great. I'm giving people hats. You sure are. Oh, and you got that gun again. Maybe it is just a snowman hat. Oh, it's this fella. Give him a hat. Buffalo. I'll learn their names eventually. Shoot him in the nipples! Do I have to? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Oh, nice okay. dodge. Thanks, fam. Welcome, fam. Ooh, the dog picked up an item. Oh, the doggy. I don't know what he grabbed for me. Though. Oh, my fault. My fault. I have a question. Oh, I got the sling. Oh, sweet. The sling's a boss killer. Oh, damn. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah? Can you pet the dog? Can you explode the dog? <laughs> Let me try it here. You can't pet the no! dog and enter the 
Exit, exit the Gungeon. I was going to say Enter the Gungeon 2. Oh. But no, it's Exit the Gungeon. It's not even a sequel. <laughs> it's a shame, because you could in the first. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to buy another key, I think. What do heavy boots do? Right, what I've noticed with the heavy boots is that... um. Oh, shut up, Bello. What I've noticed is that, um... Give me that key. Oh, I did it again. It's fine, they get refreshed now. They get refreshed now. What I've noticed with those boots is that you jump and it does like a shockwave effect when you land. Yeah. And in the original game, all they really did was, um... All they really did in the first game was like... Weapons that give you knockback, like the alien engine, mm. would knock you back less. Which I imagine they still do. But in this, because you have a jump, you have this, you have this weight shockwave mechanic they've given you. Oh. And it seems to just knock enemies back, but I, at first I thought it was a blank. Ooh, double vision. Thank you, doggy. <laughs> Only dogs get you booze. Yeah, the dog just picks up the random items that appear in this. He doesn't. I don't think he necessarily finds me, or like he used to, but he does go and get them for you. Yeah, I have no. Yeah, he just spawned broken that guy. He doesn't quite know what he's doing. But yeah, I have noticed the dog just like going around getting you money. He's a good dog. Mm. Get elephant gunned. <laughs> get. There we are. Elephant gunned. Nice. Oof. Oh, it's, um... I was going to say, it's a ninja turtle. Oh, what's his name? Like, Trork or something. Michelangelo. What are you about? That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Whoa! You rock, pilgrim. Can't wait to get back to my sweet truck. By the way, in case we haven't met, I'm Trork, and I run the truck stop. Look me up when you want some power ups while you're going up. up. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Yeah, later, man. Truck baby, here I come. <laughs> Someone's missed that truck. Yeah, I don't even know how he got that truck in the gungeon. Maybe it's actually a gun. Oh my god, imagine if it... <laughs> I mean, it's full of guns. Maybe that's it. It's got so many guns in it that it counts. Oh, no, see, I was just thinking that, you know, the lights are actually guns. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. He becomes a boss. <laughs> oh, the claw. Such a weird one. If I have so many weak bullets <laughs> that I don't actually know if it's any good. I mean, it didn't really kill anything, I don't think, so... <laughs> Charge shot, I'm less of a fan of. I mean, you're always a fan of soy milk in Isaac, and that was just a lot of weak shots. Yeah. I like charge weapons in regular Gungeon, but this one's a bit more hectic and I find them a little more cumbersome. Mm. I suppose they're there for the challenge. Get bubble gunned. Hmm, bubble gun. Oh, the RC rocket's a bit better as well. Oh, actually, the damage is better than I remember. That's <laughs> so slow. Yeah, it is. Mm. Oh. oh, 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 what's happening? Are you winning? Did you win? I think you're winning. Sure. Oh. Who are you? He's a magician. Gungamesh, A King. Oh. oh, where'd he go? There he is. I don't know who this is. Oh, I've got a blunderbuss. I'm just dodged for a bit. Oh, oh. God Whoa, damn. Jesus. Whoa. Jesus, help. <laughs> How do I hit this guy? There, I guess. The beehive. Bees. That's what this game Whoa. needed. Whoa. That is nuts. Yeah. That is not okay by Zeke's rules. <laughs> Oh you got a little pew pew pew. Now I've got it slowed down thanks to the dog picking up a thing. Sorry, I mean, yeah, I guess you get to learn the pattern then. Oh, that does help. Careful. 
Oh, this guy is bonkers. So much going on with him. Oh, grenades. That's okay, they don't hurt me. Oh, oh. that hurts me. Blank. Done. Blank in that one. Oh! oh! He's tough. Yeah. I don't know his patterns at all. Like you could see, I did um fairly okay on the cannon bullrog because yeah. I understood what the two guys that he was combined with did in the previous game. Yeah. Ah. Uh, um, so you, you did good, and we got bees. We got and bees. Cronk, whatever his name was. Trork. Trork. Truck orc. Ah, truck truck. Right, I'm going to go to the breach, see if anyone's hanging about, see if we can spend some cash. You still don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. Don't look like anyone's there. Are you familiar with the butterfly effect? Trork's truck is gone. Demolished by a falling object. We all know who really kicked that helmet. Oh. Now he's out for revenge. But not against you. <laughs> Nothing else to say. I, so that's going to be one of the bosses. The, person's who's, the person whose helmet you kept kicking off the side in the first game. I hope so, because I was an asshole with them. <laughs> See if we can spend some cash, and then I guess we'll end the episode. Magic sweet. Mm. Homing bullets, though. I don't know what the laser loader says, though. A homing bullets just like permanent upgrade, or? Yeah. Mm. Let's see what's in this one too. Oh, that mm. looks good. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with our purchase. Sweet. Right. Next time on Charlotte and Zeke, I guess another Gungeon character. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I am really enjoying this <laughs> game. It's. Definitely more casual than Gungeon, right? Like, I feel like it's a little easier. I feel like it's going to be a little shorter. I feel like there's going to be less synergy and less replayability. But sometimes you do just want a quick Gungeon run, and this is sort of hitting the spot for it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. And bye-bye. See you.